Hey, Six, now the Israeli election in the midst of the U.S. presidential election cycle. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is under full throttle political attack by left wing radicals in his country. Sound familiar? This just days after an election that resulted in what looked like another term for Netanyahu as prime minister. So the left in Israel is attempting to do to Netanyahu what the left in this country has done and is doing to President Trump. Question is, is there a path to repeat as prime minister for Netanyahu under these circumstances, in particular, this phony, politically induced indictment? Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Uh, Barry, uh, what's happening in Israel is so similar to what's happening. They're trying to undo the election results. Does that sound vaguely familiar to you? It's the Israeli swamp, if you will. So the, I guess the question is, can Netanyahu save himself from this attack, this phony attack? They might as well be saying, hey, you know, um, uh, people who were born and raised in the United States and become prime minister later in Israel should not be allowed to serve as prime minister, right? I mean, that's effectively what this law is. They are doing to Bibi what the left has tried to do to Trump here, which is run a campaign, uh, which is Benny Gantz's campaign of the Blue and White Party, which is we don't want Bibi as prime minister. We really don't have much in a, of an agenda. But vote for us if you don't want BB. This is the same thing that has been run here, and the press has ganged up on BB the same way as the press in the United States ganged up on Trump. I spoke at great length yesterday to a member of the Likud party in upper management. He tells me that they are negotiating with one to two people to come across who might bring a friend. They need three more seats and then Bibi will be confirmed as prime minister for another four-year term. Right. Unless, of course, the courts get involved. And uh, there's nothing that has ever happened like this before in Israel, so nobody knows how bad it's going to get or if the Supreme Court will intervene and overrule the Knesset. I've been told, Barry, that if there were ever direct elections for prime minister in Israel, which there aren't right now, that's not the way the system works. But if there were direct elections, that Benjamin Netanyahu, according to the polling, would win overwhelmingly a majority vote. Is that accurate? Oh, yeah. In a landslide, uh, the vast majority of the electorate says they want him as prime minister. They trust him for national security reasons much more than Gantz, even though Gantz was the head of the army as chief of staff. But he has no international diplomacy experience, and there's probably no one on the world stage that has more international diplomacy experience than Netanyahu. Ergo, most people want Netanyahu as prime minister, even though they may not like him. All right, Barry, I got 30 seconds left. When we look in this country at somebody like Bernie Sanders, as radical as he is, he's also, he runs around telling everybody he's a Jew. But he's not exactly the kind of Jew that supports Israel. He seems to me the kind of Jew that supports the Palestinians more. He's a Jew like I'm an astronaut. Um, he had some, uh, uh, I guess, genetics that made him Jewish. He is about as un-Jewish as you can get when it comes to supporting Israel. He's anti-Zionist. He's anti-Israel. And most of his surrogates, and I mean this literally, are anti-Semites anti-Israel and anti-Zionist, radical, jihadi types. That is incompatible with American foreign policy. And as far as I'm concerned, um, let's root for somebody else if you are a supporter of Israel. But Bernie Sanders would be an unmitigated disaster. And he would move the embassy back to uh, Tel Aviv. He would move it out of Jerusalem, that's for sure. And I think Joe Biden would as well. Barry, thank you.